Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello. How are you? All good? Good. Good. All right. Nice. Great. Ready for classes? Yeah. Nice. Way to go. Interesting. Well, let's just wait a couple of minutes for everybody to join the session and let's start our video conference number six. Yes, this is the second week actually. And you have to complete the section three and the midterm exam for this week, for the end of this week, for the end of this week, for classes is Thursday, right? Teacher, you can see my part. If I, I can, can finish. Ah, oh, yeah, from the platform. Yes. I will check, no problem. Okay. Yes, I will. All right, nice. I see some people already worked on the session three. That's important, That's all right? Nice. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Let me just check, double check. Yes, all right. Armando, right? Yeah. Alvarez. Okay, let me refresh because I see section one, section two complete, but section three, yes, now complete too. You are working on the exam or you finished the exam. Oh, yes, you finished the exam too. Yes. Oh, nice. You are working on the section four already. Yeah. That's great. That's really good. All right. Okay, that's very nice. Today is... 6 June, class number 6. <laughs> exactly, the 6th of June and the class number 6. What a coincidence. That's really nice. That's awesome. Okay. And June is the 6th month too. Imagine. <laughs> so the lucky number today is number 6. Number 6. Yeah, Numbers. it sounds like the lucky number. All right, that's nice. Well, good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. Right on the chat, good evening, if you are present already. So it's going to be easier for me to identify that you are in the class already. Right. Good evening. Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you doing? How was your day? Are you happy? Are you ready? Whatever you want to write in English, of course. Participation, exactly. Hello, good evening, good evening. Ah, nice. Excellent. I see. Uh -huh. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, partners. Partners and friends. Partners in crime. Okay. <laughs> Not just partners for the English class only. <laughs> All right. Good. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Nice. Oh, happy to see you. Happy to see each other. Another day, another class, we're fine. It's Tuesday today, right? Tuesday. I just have something bothering me on my back. Good evening, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hello. Okay, good. That's very good. I see. Well. Just to share the screen for you to have. Yes. Okay, continue writing your greetings on the chat. That's nice. Good evening, good evening. Hello, everyone. How are you? Hi. Okay. So the reminders to refresh <laughs> about the reminder. Okay. The Every silence. Class. 
<laughs> yes, <laughs> every class we need to do this for everybody to have a good behavior in that section. Okay, the silence button. Remember, sometimes when we are talking and somebody accidentally turns the microphone on, we can listen to other kind of conversations from the family, so it's not very comfortable. So yes. the attendance, yes. Um, Ray, it's raining now. Okay. It is raining. Yeah. In San Sonate. Oh my God, you're so In Armenia. In Armenia, it's raining. Quiere empezar, quiere empezar, quiere empezar, pero. In San Salvador, it never rains. <laughs> I know, I'm not happy. And <laughs> yesterday night has it rained. so cool, cold. It was cold? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. I think I'm going to buy a terreno in, in Sonsonate, you know. But <laughs> I'm going to no, buy a house. But it's in Huayua, not in Sonsonate. Exactly. But in Sonsonate, it's hot. hot. I know. But the department, because I, I heard Huayua, Los Naranjos, all those places are beautiful. Ataco, Huatzalcoatitán. So I don't know if those places, but those places are from Sonsonate, right? Yes. Mm hmm so I need a, a farm in a in a place like that, <laughs> in a cool place. Okay. All right. So remember your full name, your camera, your participation. Yeah, your participation on the chat as well. That's really important. Yes, I see at least saying hi, hello. All right. And raise your hand if you have any question, any comment, or you want to participate. And always respect others. That's important, okay? The dates, okay, we started, and the attendance should be 80%. So every class we should participate, we should be present, and we also have to work on the platform, okay? And the schedule for the classes is 60 minutes, not 30, not 40, 60 minutes, and of course, what we reinforce is week two, we got to complete section three and the midterm. I see some of you already completed, so you're fine, you're lucky, you are relaxed now, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Not much pressure, <laughs> it's fine, it's great. All right, so at the end of this section or at the end of this uh, class, participants will be able to say where people are from. And ask and answer yes, no questions with B. Yes, like, are you from Santa Ana? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your mother from El Salvador? Yeah. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, tell me. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ese? Will be, we'll be yeah? able to. Will be able to, exactly. Will be able to. Able to. Able to. Okay. Yes. Students, participants will be able to. Oh, it's supposed to rain. I heard a sound of a thunder, but I wonder because <laughs> it usually sounds like it's going to rain, but it never rains. So that happens on Saturday. That happened on Sunday. So I don't think it will rain. But anyways, got to wait. Got to wait and see. Are you ready for the attendance? Yes. Yes. Adriana Madai. Adriana Madai, not connected today? No. Jesus. Alma Patricia? Presente. Hello. How are you? Hello. Say present. <laughs> Hoy sí pude conectarme. A mí me ha costado mucho, pero ya puedo. Technology, vaya, pero todos aprendemos algo diferente every day. No Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> Applause. <laughs> Thank you. All right, welcome. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Are you here? No. Okay, sorry. Anderson Armando. Uh, 
Okay. Mahir. Armando Antonio. Present. Brenda Esmeralda. Present. Hello. Cristina Michelle. Hello. Present. Hello. Hi. Diana Yamilet. Present. Hello. Elmer Alexander. Present. Hello, Brittany. Erika Lisset. Present. Hello. Fatima Roxana. Present. Hello. Freddy Ernesto. Present. Hello. Hazel Nayeli. Present. Hello. Jocelyn Tatiana. Hello. Present. Hi, good evening. How are you? Okay, Carla Yamilet. Present. Hello. Catherine Hello. Esmera. Catherine Stephanie. Well. Catherine. Catherine is not here. Oh my goodness. All right. Kevin Alexander. Present. Hi, good evening. <clears throat> Maria Jose. Hi, Hello, evening. Marisol. Present. Hello, good evening. Melissa Stephanie. Present. Hello. Nelvin. Present. Hi, good evening. Olympia. Present. Hello, Roxana Arely. Present. Hello, Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Hello, Sandra Guadalupe. Present. Hello, Tatiana Maria. Present. Hello, Yadira Natalia. Present. Hello, good evening. Okay, and we have Jocelyn Arlene. Oh, Arlene, sorry. Jocelyn Arlene. Hello. And Selena Jamile Reyes. Present teacher. All right. Welcome. Welcome to classes, okay? Nice. Let me see. Okay. Okay, everybody ready. I see. Yes. Ready, ready, ready. Okay. En el chat escriban el nombre de su país favorito. Your favorite country. Yes, Ana Beatriz. Dígame. Tell me. Ana. Hola. Hola, teacher. A mí no me mencionó. Really. Ana Beatriz. Oh my God. Let me see. Ok, déjenme ver. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien más que no lo haya mencionado? Miss. Yes. A mí, yo todavía no me había unido a la clase. Adriana Ramírez. Sí. All right, thank you, Adriana. All right, good evening. ¿Alguien más que no le han pasado la attendance? Everybody? Yes? All right. Veamos. Favorite countries. Give the name of your favorite country. Okay. I see. Uh, Melissa says Canada, Hazel, Australia, Elmer, Suiza. Suiza is Sweden or Switzerland? Spain, Roxana, Cristina, Mexico, Fatima, Canada, Brenda, Mexico, Kevin, Colombia. Jamilet says, uh, Suiza again. 
Armando USA, Yadira Mexico en Colombia, Mario C, Spain, Erika, Canadá, Olimpia, Mexico, Adriana, Canadá, Jocelyn USA, Selena, Francia, France, it would be Diana, uh, Italy, Marisol, Mexico, Armando, Italy too, <laughs> okay, Melvin, Arabia, Saudi, Arabia, okay, Spain from Freddy, all right. ¿Saben cómo decir ese país en inglés? El país que ustedes han puesto, my favorite country is Italy, ya lo pusieron en inglés, USA, obviously, es en inglés. Okay, Mexico. Ah. <laughs> All right. Mexico, Spain. Sí, muchas están en English. France. Yes, France. Should be France. Okay. Italy, USA, Spain. Uh -huh. Ajá. Lo, lo, lo que está en español, pues generalmente se, solo es como el acento modificamos, right? Like Colombia, Mexico. <laughs> right. Pero, for example, Sweden. Or Switzerland. Suiza or Suiza or Suecia. <laughs> Switzerland or Sweden. Switzerland, it's Suiza. Yes, yeah, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Yes. Switzerland. Así. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Switzerland. All right, like Disneyland. <laughs> Switzerland. All right, Spain. Bye. Traten de decirlo en inglés. My favorite, I don't have a favorite country. Guadalupe, Sandra Guadalupe. My favorite country is Italy, France, Mexico, Australia. Australian sería la nationality. Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. All right. Traten de pensar cómo se diría ese country in English. Like my favorite country is Colombia. Or la nationality. Okay, like Shakira, she is from Colombia. So she is Colombian, right? So obviously, dependiendo del country, vamos a tener algunas nationalities son muy parecidas. Like somebody from Mexico is Mexican. Somebody from Italy, Italian. Somebody from Spain, Spanish. Somebody from Canada, Canadian. Somebody from Switzerland, Swedish. Somebody from Australia, Australian. Somebody from, what, I don't, what other yeah, countries? France. From France would be French. French. Yes. Somebody from the US would be American. Sorry, <laughs> we are all American, but from the US, they say American because the United States of America. All right, so we're going to practice a little bit of that because yesterday we started saying where people are from. We get to the short conversation. We study the countries and the big cities, of course. And then we, we get to this very little conversation about Jessica. Jessica and her family are in California now, but they are from Korea originally. So her mother, I mean, then we have Tim's mother who is Korean. And then they talk about the cities in Korea, Seoul and the John. So, we're going to practice a little bit this conversation one more time and we're going to answer the questions, right? So, are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Then you listen, and Tony is from Italy, true or false. Natasha is from New York. Okay, we don't have Natasha here and Monique. Also, these are different people, so don't worry about this exercise. I thought it was just about the same Jessica and Tim, so we're going to omit that part. Don't worry. But as well, as we think about the country, the nationality, the cities, and the language, usually they all got together. 
for example, Colombia, the nationality would be? Colombian. Colombian. The language? <laughs> Spanish. 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 <laughs> yes. And an important city in Colombia? Bogota. Bogota, which is the capital city, right? Argentina. Okay. Nationality? Argentinian. Okay. Language? Español. Spanish. Spanish. Todos los Latin American countries, a excepción de, de ¿qué? las Guianas francesas y Haití que hablan French y ahí todos hablamos Spanish de diferentes acentos pero everybody speaks Spanish in Latin America right and supposedly Belize speaks English but uh, kind of Garifuna English so <laughs> then most of the countries speak Spanish okay so Argentina nationality Argentina language Spanish and an important city in Argentina Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires, which is the capital city, right? Okay, so right now we're just going to practice the conversation and we are going to omit this part because we don't have the audio right now. So later on, probably I can do it. But right now, just practice the conversation, okay? After you practice the conversation, tal cual está acá, lo vamos a hacer ya sustituyendo por nuestros nombres. Yes. 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 Ajá. Cuando hayamos cambiado por nuestros nombres, podríamos cambiar por el país que escribimos en el chat, que era su favorite country. Okay. <ríe> si le preguntan, por ejemplo, like, yes, uh, Hazel, are you, are you from El Salvador, Jessica? Maybe she can say, well, my family is in El Salvador now, but we are from, ¿Qué país escribió Hazel? Australia. Okay, but we are from Australia originally. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, my mother is Australian. From Sydney. Are you from Sydney? No, we're not from Sydney. We are from any other city from Australia? <laughs> Google. <laughs> so, it's your first language. ¿Cuál sería el first language de Australia? English. English. It's English. All right. Yes, yeah, it, is. it is. Okay. Ahí va a depender de su creativity. Okay. Si quieren dejar California, dejar California. So, you imagine that we are in the United States. All right. Ready? Ready, Ready. to practice? Okay, let me, creo que, just one second. Something is happening with my WhatsApp. Okay, here. No, no, it's the chat from, from Zoom. Okay. Hmm. In theory, deberían haber dos, max three people in each breakout room. But let's say, si hubiesen más de dos personas, the idea is to rotate. And while two people are practicing, one person is listening. And if this person has anything to help with, so this person will help. All right? Go.
salas puede practicar desde acá, no problem, ¿ok? ¿Ves la imagen? Dos. ¿Ahorita son ustedes dos? Sí. ¿Anda? Comienza para ti. Vaya. Su nombre. Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daegu. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay. ¿Qué país dijo usted? No, no dije ninguno. <laughs> Ajá. Y en, en, le pregunto como California siempre. Sí, sí. Vaya, vaya, permítame, solo quiero ver algo rápido. ¿Usted es Sandra? Sí. Ok. ¿Are you from California, Sandra? Well, my family is in California now. No tenemos que decir, ah, entonces cambiaría porque, porque como él está preguntando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, no, no, cómo no. Sí, así se está, está bien entonces. Bye. Vaya. Vaya. En el, en el principio de, de, el primero de ti, que es el you from Spain, eh, Spain, ¿cómo se dice España? Eh, donde dice Jessica, le vamos a poner el nombre de, de las que estamos participando. Ajá, sí. Vaya, por ejemplo, este, como María va a preguntarme, me va a decir Roxana. Ajá. Sí. Vale, si quiere comencemos. Va. 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 Oh, oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dijon. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay. Oye, bueno, se salió. Démosle la, la vuelta. Empezaba y yo soy Jessica. Okay. Are you from California, Elma? Well, my family is California now, but we're... Uh, no. Uh, no, we're from... No, we're not from... Uh, it's not Esparta. Um, we're from... Uh, que será Digim, por cierto. Okay, so you're please less... Okay, so, so is your first language uh, Spanish? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> bueno. Vaya, si quiere, eh, ¿quién me empieza? Sí, no sé. Bueno, dale, voy a empezar yo otra vez y vos me contestas. <laughs> Are you from Colombia, chica? Perdón, Cristina. No, no hazlo con, con, Mel, con Melvin. Lo voy a por Cucuta y usted me dice, no, it's from Bogotá. Mm -hmm. Bye. Are Ajá. you from, from California? No, permítame. Are you from Cucuta, Jessica? 
Oh, no, por Colombia, perdón. Pero que, ay, que también con Colombia ¿Estás de primero. Colombia, Jessica? Well, my family is Colombian now, but we're from Cucuta, era ahí. Bogotá. I'm Bogotá, originally. Oh, my mother is from Cucuta. Uh, my mother is from Bogotá, from Cucuta. Are you from Cucuta? Mm. No, we're not from Bogotá. No. We're not from no. Cucuta. <laughs> Cucuta. Uh -huh. <laughs> we're from Bogotá. Uh -huh. So, is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. <laughs> My name is Tim and I'm Jessica. El país okay. Canadá, la ciudad es Toronto. Vale. Are you from Canada, Jessica? Well, my family is in Canada, Canada now, but we're from. Tendría que, tendría que ser otro lugar de México. Um, el del DF, ¿qué le dicen? DF. Ajá. No, we're not from Chiapas. We're from. We're not DF. from. Ajá, DF. Uh -huh. No, we're not from Chiapas. Yes, it is. Uh, no, en ese caso yo tendría que decirle. Yeah. So, is your first language uh, Spanish? Yes, it is. Correct. Ay, no sé si nos escucha. Eh, no se escucha, yo sé. Hoy voy yo. Sí. Va, vale, comienzo. ¿Cómo está? O sea, sí. <coughs> vale, voy. ¿Quién es Tim? Yo soy Jessica. Ya está de ti. Vale. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dijon. Is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay. <clears throat> Cambiamos. Vas, ah, dale. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from, but we're from Korean originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. Hola. 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 Se le volvió a salir. Creo que me sacó. No, sí se escucha. Sí se me escucha. sacó, pero ahorita. Ok. Oh, okay. my mother is Korean for, from. Vaya. Ahora, from. Y le pregunta, is Korean from Seoul? Allí le está preguntando, creo que bueno, le está diciendo. Sí, es la capital de Seúl. Ajá, la capital, ¿verdad? Ajá, es la capital de Corea. Ajá. Bye. Entonces yeah. tendría que decir este. San Salvador. San Salvador, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá, es cierto. From el San Salvador. Are you from El Salvador? Ajá, es from El Salva, San Salvador. Y le pregunta, ¿tú eres de, San, de, de, de Seúl? Le dice, ¿are you from Seúl? Entonces nosotros le vamos a poner, ¿are you from El San Salvador? But we're from Korean originally. Oh. 
All right, is there any question? Any question? Alguna dificultad que hayan tenido? Any difficulties? Me cuesta intercambiar los, eh, los sí, los, eh, sí. <ríe> sí, tiene que tener un poquito de, como de paciencia para ir viendo qué es lo que va. <ríe> si es la nationality, si es la ciudad. <ríe> que es el idioma. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Ah? No more? Everybody fine? Everybody okay? ¿Todo bien? Yes. yes. Más que está lloviendo. Yes. It's raining. It's raining. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. The first question is, are you are from you California? From? Are you from, are you from, are you from a city, a country, right? Are you from California, Jessica? And Jessica says, well, my family is in California now, but we are from Korea. Korea we are from Korea originally, right? Oh, my mother is Korean. Then Tim says the nationality. My mother is Korean. She's from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? Another question. Are you from California? Are you from Seoul? Oh my goodness, it's raining a lot there. Okay. We are not from Seoul, negative. We are not from Seoul, okay? Here, I'm going to read. We are not, negative. We are not from Seoul. We are from Daejeon. So, is your first language, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is, okay? So, <clears throat> any other question, any other problem any other inconvenience easy it's a little bit confused to change the cities i know because we don't know many cities from the countries right <laughs> okay it is a little bit confusing it's true but the idea is to ask yes no questions and say affirmative and negative sentences okay so this is what we have here See? Negative, yes, no questions, short answers, right? But take a look. Observen bien el cuadro de la información. Take a look. And, ¿qué tenemos acá? Para que estas sentences sean negative. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es lo que determina no, que estas oraciones no. sean negativas? El no. no y es no, como no. muy similar al español, ¿verdad? Cuando decimos no somos de Corea. No, no, no. Yes, it's not. I'm not from New York. No, no. You're not late. late. She's no, not from no. Russia. He's not from Italy. It's no. not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in no. Mexico. Se fijan, aquí el verb to be está contractado con el pronombre I am not. Podríamos hacerlo contracted or not contracted, no hay problema. But if you want to be more efficient when you speak, generalmente van a escuchar que la gente tiende a contractar. En lugar de decir I am not from New York, van a decir I'm not from New York, yes? You are not late. You're not late. She is not from Russian. She's not from Russian, right? Y así sucesivamente con todos los pronombres. Luego, ¿qué sucede para estructurar la yes no question? 
El verbo. El verbo pasa al inicio. Exacto. Uh -huh. Y ya no digo you are antes del sujeto. Exacto. Ya no digo you are, sino que digo are you. Are you. Are you from California? Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? Yes. Y como esta es una yes no question, porque tal cual, la única posibilidad es que me respondan es que sí o que no. Entonces, por eso tienen short answers. Bye. El okay. español, generalmente nosotros con que nos digan sí o no, basta. But in English, no es suficiente. Tenemos que decir, yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Yes, they are. Eso va a depender de lo que me pregunten. Right? For example, si me dicen, are you from Santa Ana? Yo no soy de Santa Ana, pues entonces voy a responder de forma negativa. Voy a decir, no, no I'm no. not. Uh -huh. Y si me preguntan, is your mother from Mexico? Mi mamá no es de México, entonces voy a decir, no, she is sí, sí. not. Porque estoy hablando de ella, right? Si me preguntaran, is your brother from El Salvador? Y es del Salvador, yes. entonces yo, yes, he is. Entonces eso va a depender mucho de qué me pregunten, ¿sí? De qué sujeto se utilice en la question, yes? For example, si yo pregunto, from Brazil. Can you repeat? Is Messi from Brazil? No, he's not. No, no he's not. not. No, he's not. Is Messi from Argentina? Yes. Yes, 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 he, is. Is. yes he is. Yes, entonces eso va a depender de qué sujeto o de quién estamos hablando en la question. Por eso hay que en inglés prestar muchísima atención. Generalmente con el sujeto y con el verbo que hacemos la pregunta, con esa misma hacemos la respuesta. Matter of attention. Yes? Ok. So, yes, I am. Yes, you are. En esta short answers no se puede contractar. De forma afirmativa no puedo decir yes, I'm. O yes, you're. No, impossible. <ríe> okay. Siempre voy a decir yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, she is. Yes, he is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Yes, they are. Yes? Y luego en la forma negativa sí ya podemos contractar porque ya hay una palabra más. Entonces podría ser no, I'm not. O no, I am not. Como quieran. No, you're not. No, she's not. No, he's not. No, it's not. No, we're not. No, you're not. No, they're not. Yes, esto es como nada más la explicación. Got it? Yes. Ok. Yes. Yes. Statements. Yes, no question. Short answer, affirmative short answer, negative short answer. All right. Continue. Justamente acá viene donde aplicamos. Hiroshi, are you and Michael from Japan? Yes, we are. are. Yes, we are. Yeah. Oh, are you from Tokyo? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. We're not. Uh -huh, We're not. Porque le está preguntando. Tú, Hiroshi y Michael. So, no, we're not. We're from Kyoto. Yes? Y aquí pueden contestar si quieren, porque ya no están haciendo la short answer, sino que están explicando de dónde. Ya es como una afirmativa. Yes, we are from Kyoto. Este exercise, en cuanto lo sacamos en unos 10, five minutes, I guess. Por cuestiones de tiempo, no voy a hacer otros grupos. Déjenme ver. Para que lo... Bueno, sí, se puede. Let's recreate. Ok. Ahorita les comparto el screenshot.
Hola. Hola. No copié nada. Yo siempre lo me da tiempo no, de copiar. Yo, tam yo tampoco no copié nada, no se preocupe. <risa> o sí, preocúpese sí. porque no, no copié. Tampoco. No copié y como yo en el teléfono estoy, no me pasan esa cosa de la clase ese que están dando ahorita. Ah, Pero ya... vaya. Eh, al grupo de WhatsApp no se puede salir y ir. Ahí está. En el grupo de WhatsApp lo han mandado. Y para volver ahí, ¿cómo le tengo que hacer? No, solo no apague el micro. Sería, are you in Michael from Japan? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. We are. Mm -hmm. Oh. Are you from Tokyo? Sería, no. We are not from Tokyo, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué dicen? ¿Sí era así? Ya terminado. No, si yo realmente aún no sé. Todavía estoy en la segunda y ya terminamos. Jocelyn. ¿Ah? ¿En la conversación 2? Ahí se ha quedado. La de Laura. Sí. A mí me han salido solo dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Seis, 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 nueve buenas me han salido. Ya la pasé. Mm. ¿Y puedes seguir intentando hasta que, hasta que las complete todas bien? Sí. Uh, yes, we are. Uh -huh. Ya empezaron. Sí, yes, we are. Uh, oh, are you from Toyota? <risa> Tokio. Tokio. Y la otra sí me salió mala. La, no, they puse yo. They no. Not. Es no, we are. Uh -huh. We are. Sí. We, we are. We are. We are. Pero es. Ah, W H -E R E no W E espacio A R E we are we are we are we are, we are. W -H -E. eh, la la comita arriba, la A y la R. No, no, no lleva, no lleva H. Solo we are. Solo es W E. Uh -huh. w -E. Y R en la otra es A R E A R -E, como A. -E. Ah. Ya, 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 gracias. We are. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, she is. 
Yes. She is. She is. But her parents are from Italy. Okay. Bien, va. Sí. Entonces sería, is she from London? She, she, uh -huh. Is she are, are you and Michael from Japan? Yes, we are. Oh, we are from, no, okay. Are you from Tokyo? No. They are not. They are from Kyoto. Is Laura... Hi, finish. Yes? Great. Hazel, tell me. Eh, a mí se me dificulta mucho. Bueno, en el examen y aquí se me dificultó un poquito el encontrar. El pronombre. Ajá. Ok, y, y quizás hasta cierto punto me frustré porque ponía uno, no era y... Ya no sabía cómo relacionarlo. Y sí, me es sostera, como imaginarse ¿sí? que estoy en la letra A o en la letra B. ¿Cómo respondería algo así? Sí, eso traté. Eso. Uh -huh. O sea, de hallarle sentido más que todo. Es right. sentido. Ok. ¿Meli? Eh, las letras U and Q. Uh -huh. It's United Kingdom, ¿verdad? Yes, United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. El Reino Unido. Bye, vamos. Number one. Hiroshi, are you a Michael from Japan? Yes, we are. are. Yes, we are. Ahí no había donde perderse, ¿ven? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, no <laughs> oh, aquí cuando are. hacemos el you, recuerden que hay un you singular que eres tú y el you plural que son ustedes. Para ambos es you. Ahí va a depender del contexto. En este exactly. caso, como... Eh, exacto. Esto como son dos personas, Hiroshi y Michael, ahí sería el you de ustedes. ¿Yes? Porque okay. es plural, ¿verdad? Exactly. Uh -huh. Are you from Tokyo? Are you from no. Tokyo? We are not. Ajá, uh -huh. no. We're not. ¿Lo pusieron we're contractado? Not. ¿Así? Sí. sí. Vale. No, we're sí. not. ¿Y acá? We are, we are from, from Kyoto. Podría ser separado o contactado. We are from Kyoto. Tokyo, Kyoto. No the same city. Okay. <laughs> okay. Laura. Aquí Laura. Me. Aquí es donde me. me is, is Porque es Laura. como she, ¿verdad? Is, is Laura from the US. Recuérdese no. que los pronombres me sirven para sustituir los nombres, pero no necesariamente toda la vida voy a usar un pronombre. Y yes, es como que yo diga, is Armando from San Salvador? Ya sé que al sustituirlo sería aquí, pero puedo usar perfectamente el nombre. Yes. So, is Laura from the US? No. She's not. No, she's not. She's not. Uh -huh. No, she's not. She's from the UK. Ajá. Uh -huh. Seguimos is, hablando de Laura. Is she is, from London? She, yes, she, she is. Yes, she is. But her parents are from Italy. Estamos hablando de los padres de Laura. So her mom and her dad. Su mamá y su papá. They, they, uh -huh. they are not from the UK originally. Vamos, de lo vamos a poner contractado por 
razones de espacio. They're not from the UK originally. Uh -huh. Ahora estamos hablando del primer idioma o del idioma nativo, natal de Laura. Uh -huh. Is It is Laura's no sé. first language Italian. Estamos hablando del idioma. No, no. It's, ella es. No, no she. No. Estamos hablando del idioma. No, no, no it's not. Yes, oh, Laura's okay. first language uh -huh. Italian. No, it's not. It's, it's English. It's, it's English. English. Exactly. Yes. Hasta ahí vamos bien. Yes. Okay, very good. Ahora estamos hablando de Selina y Carlos. Are. Are. Uh -huh. Como que dijéramos ellos, ¿verdad? Are Selina y Carlos from Mexico? They're. No. They're. They're not. No, they are no. not. No, they're not. Uh -huh. Ajá. They they're. They are from Brazil. Yes, como ellos son de Brasil, right? They are from Brazil. Mhm. Uh -huh. Y ahora sí, are. a ti directamente, como él le diga, "Ah, ¿y tú? ¿Eres are de Brasil you, también?" Are you? Are you? Uh -huh. Are you from Brazil too? No. No, I'm not. I'm No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm from Peru. So, first yes. language is Spanish. Is 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 your first language is Spanish? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ah, uh, tengo una pregunta. Dígame. Yo en la plataforma lo puse así tal cual, pero me salían malas algunas. Y ahorita que usted lo está haciendo veo que están bien. Vaya, a veces los errores con la plataforma son de apóstrofe, de, de que no estamos poniendo el apóstrofe, sino una comida, o de puntuación, o de mayúsculas. Yo sí, no creo que es el apóstrofe, porque sí. yo me pasé así, que ella reventaba la compu porque no me salía. Pero... Estaba hasta poniendo que, una tilde. Sí. No, era el mismo apóstrofe, pero solo que... Yo lo tenía en español y, y el... entonces el apóstrofe lo toma así como está, lo tiene usted ahorita y en la plataforma lo, al ponerlo en inglés se ve como un poquito más para abajo. Mm. Entonces lo toma ya diferente. Tienen ya, que cambiar ¿no? el, el keyboard a inglés entonces. Ajá. Yo a, a mí así me hasta así me funcionó. Así le funcionó. Tal vez a algunos, porque a, así me sale a mí el apóstrofe también al tener sí. en español, y así como más que... inclinadito. Ajá, y lo peor que también aquí la mayoría del ejercicio va con contraction, con apóstrofe, uh -huh. right? Pero sí tengan también cuidado con las mayúsculas. Después de una coma no es necesario la mayúscula, pero después de un punto sí. El pronombre hay siempre va a ser mayúscula. Al inicio de la question siempre inicial mayúscula, todas esas, esas como mínimas cosas sí cuentan a la hora para que se lo tome como correcto o no. Armando? Uh, the energy is gone. Oh, really? Sorry. It's yeah. okay, no problem. Yeah, I saw you like <laughs> frozen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, because of the time, we're going to stop. We continue discussing tomorrow. Don't worry. It's time and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.